You've probably... <laughs> well then. Okay, so we talk so much about Spotify playlists. Everybody knows it's one of the best places you can be to have your music discovered, but we also know that Apple Music is Spotify's largest competitor. So why don't we ever talk about Apple Music playlists? More on that on today's episode of Music ID TV, your home for B2B music news. So to stay abreast on the latest happenings in the B2B music news well, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever we post a video on the channel. How are you doing today? I am doing absolutely amazing. I am Tuco, your resident artist entrepreneur, and let's get into today's episode. So Apple Music's playlist, of course, is something that you can use to be discovered, but we never have these open conversations about it because, honestly, they are pretty private about being on Apple. Apple Music Playlist. The reason is, according to this article by Repost Network, Apple Music Playlists are curated by private editors as well as private teams who curate all the public playlists on Apple Music. Unlike Spotify, which uses actual public playlist curators. You can actually Google and you'll find a list of the top 15 most powerful Spotify playlist curators. And so we at least have that public knowledge, but we do not have that with Apple Music. But here are three tips according to this article on how you can be more so considered for Apple Music playlists. Tip number one, you have to have your profile verified with Apple Connect through Apple Music for Artists. We've talked about that on the channel before, so be sure to sign up for Apple Music for Artists so you can try and log on and make sure that you can actually claim your profile. That's tip number one to be considered for the playlist. Tip number two, you have to build up your following on Apple Music. On Apple Music and on Spotify, you have the option to be followed by listeners. So they want people following you. To build up your profile on Apple Music means that the editors will consider you more so for playlists. And tip number three, work with a distributor who has some sort of relationship with Apple Music who will pitch your music for playlists. Now this is one of those, that sounds like finding a radio promoter who has connections at the hottest radio station in your local territory. I mean, it still sounds like a challenge, but Repost Network, the actual authors of this article, are named as a distributor who does have a connection with Apple Music editorial playlist curators to pitch music to them. So if you wanna try out Repost Network as a digital distributor, feel free to try them out. This is actually my first time coming across Repost Network, so I'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging before I give my personal opinion on whether or not you should use them. But if you are one of those risk takers, be sure to let us know that risk and how it went for you in the comment section below. Give us that good old Yelp review downstairs if you've ever used Repost Network. But if you ever have been considered for Apple Music Playlist or have ever been placed on Apple Music Playlist, let us know in the comment section below how you just so happen to achieve that. And if you have not, let us know if you'd be interested in that in the comment section below as well. Once again, I am Tuco. You can follow me on Instagram at Tuco I am, and you can also keep up on the latest B2B music news by following Music ID TV on Instagram at Music ID TV. Oh, and if you know anyone else who should be up on the things we cover on the channel, feel free to share this video with them, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you in the next video.